at this one. Tex. Let's see down here. George Bush and the fine art of character assassination. What's up guys, I know it's been a long minute, but I'm back with another exciting comic book haul. So, sometimes there are some weird comics out there, and I really like the political spoof comics. <laughs> Alright, so let's get things started with this free giveaway. I think they give this away when Thor Love and Thunder movie came out. I didn't actually receive it on the first day, but when I went back the following... Uh, day to watch another movie i saw that i saw like a stack hanging out i said it's free so yeah that's how i picked up one of these it's not a comic book it's just basically a whole bunch of classic covers combined into one uh i have to admit the movie was quite uh what was a letdown yeah because the director didn't know how to separate you know drama you know real life scenario drama you know because you have gods dying and he made it like too many jokes in that movie yeah anyway let's continue on avengers forever number nine this features the origin of kang and i got a couple of these starcraft comics these are always uh, easy to sell video game based comics and starcraft is Definitely a historical video game. One of the first, um, I think StarCraft along with Age of Empires were the first uh, strategy based game. Alright, so we got Captain Marvel. These are True Believers one edition. So reprints. First appearance of Brie. Yeah, I know the upcoming She Hulk show is coming out. I'm pretty excited. Hopefully, it'll be better than uh, Miss Marvel. I kind of quit watching that after the first episode, it wasn't that exciting. And now this is the one to get. This is the, even though it's a True Believers one, this can still sell pretty good. This is the third cameo appearance of, and first cover appearance of Jane Foster as Thor. Miss Marvel. This is her uh, first uh, solo series, I believe. Ming Spider-Man 52, one of those beautiful J. Scott Campbell. It's not the the best one or the priciest one, but you can tell by distinctive art. Always good to pick up J. Scott Campbell covers. Moving on. Oh, by the way, the previous one I showed you were, I think, like 50 cents comics. Maybe that made Spider-Man's cover. But anyway, this is a half off cover all new all different avengers number nine as you can see it says introducing the all new all different wasp i don't like that adjective for the avengers it's just stupid <laughs> it's way too long so this is the first cover and second appearance of nadia pym as the wasp i couldn't believe my eyes when i saw this guys spawn 100 first of all we already know spawn is you know the the uh, issue but like 50 to 200 or 200 ish it's very hard to find and considering it does have the McFarlane emblem signature emblem but this is also the Greg Capulo variant cover I can't couldn't believe it when I bought this with half off cover and it's not cheap too 495 for the cover so that's definitely going in my private collection we got Rob Liefeld Young Blood number one this is the second printing so a little bit harder to find with a gold border. Here's another variant. Secret Wars number five. This is the, uh, what's his name? Claw. Yeah. Claw variant cover. And I've, I don't know who the artist is. And these are 50 cents about the name. Batman and Robin issue number one. This is the first appearance of Professor Pig. You don't see this too often sitting out. Actually, this might be your first time seeing it. I didn't know Batman teamed up with Tarzan. So it's Claws or the Catwoman. I guess they teaming up to 
eventually take down Clad Woman. Uh, not that she's anybody powerful. I don't know. Dark Horse DC crossover. First time ever seeing this. Hulk number eight. I think this is from the second volume. Wolverine versus Hulk. Uh, it's not the best cover between those two fighting, but it does look pretty cool, huh? Because as you can see, with friends now, doesn't have the adamantium claws. He has the bone claws. So there's a story behind that. Credible Hulk 457. Another battle. What's up with Hulk's uh, get up? So this is second appearance of Hulk as War, Horseman of Apocalypse. And he's fighting Juggernaut. Whenever you have Juggernaut in the story or in the cover, it's always good to read it or buy it. Okay, let's look for all these comics. Let's go and dig through here. Legion. So we have a third of a century. Oh, what's this? Spirits of Teen Ladder. Oh, wow. 50 cents. That's what we got. Hulk. Dark Days. Nightwatch. See what we're grabbing today. Okay, Hulk, Dark Days casting, Night Watch, Gimme Cover, Experience of Pirate Batman, Second Appearance of Hocus Apocalypse, Hocus Christmas with Rain, Batman Tarzan, Parent Cover, Molecule Man, Second Appearance, Second Printing of Young Blood. 1 in 10 variant of the Cobra Hulk and second printing of Prophet. Wow. Good fact. Moving on. How you guys like me bringing back the Batman <laughs> figurine back? And by the way, yeah, that's my new rotating stand. All right, compare the two Batmans. Do you guys know the difference? Why? This is the Detective Comics annual number seven. First appearance of Captain Leather Wing. A pirate version of Batman. Pretty cool, huh? It's one of those Elseworlds 90s stories. So it's, those are interesting to read. So we got Nightwatch, another gimmick. Nightwatch kind of looks like Spawn, I have to admit. So this is his first solo series and it's a 90s gimmick cover. Like, what do you call this? Metallic foil? It's not Prism. Anyway. We got Dark Days, the casting. Uh, 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 the casting... Again, these are 50 cents. Uh, Prelude to Metal. This is a first cameo appearance of the Dark Motorverse Batman. Plural. Now we have here Prophet number 21. It says first issue in a bold new era for Extreme. I assume Extreme is Image Comics. And this is the Relaunch of Rob Liefeld's Prophet series, and it's the hard to find second printing variant. Incredible Hulk number 603. Wait a minute. Is that a zombie trying to eat his fingers? Yes, this is the so called, I think it's Greg Pack zombie variant. So, my bad. Salvador Espin zombie variant. And here is Hulk number four, a battle between, I think, Green Hulk versus Red Hulk. Oh, and this one? This is one of the giveaways when Iron Man 3 came out. That was like, man, almost 10 years ago now? Maybe not quite. See, from Regal Cinemas, Custom Edition should not for resale. Iron Man 3 was pretty much a letdown. I think it's the worst of all the Iron Man movies. You wouldn't believe this. I got this for half off covered. Seriously, I think I could pay 18 cents or 17 cents, Superman 313. This got to be one of the earlier Superman comics and it is a newsstand too. So I don't know what's going on right there. I don't know who that villain is, but kind of looks like Hawkman, but it's not. <laughs> it's like a crossover between Hawkman and Nomad and whatever. And then 312. Oh, that's even earlier than that, even though that cover looks older, doesn't it? Yeah, so as you can see, the older comics, like in the, what is this, like 
like 70s or early 80s has a lot of word bubbles. Want to attract you with action. <laughs> wow. Legion of Superheroes, 31st century, number six. This is the first appearance of Teen Lantern, Jordana Gardner. And I like grabbing these uh, sports or music related comics. We got X Men's. I mean, my bad. That's a different story. Kiss number one. Okay, moving on. Looks like we got some half price books. Goodness, right here. Godzilla number four. Dark Horse comic. I think this is the first time Dark Horse printed Godzilla. So you can see this is definitely like 80s comic pretty cool cover though a lot of destruction going on i just bought this because there's no key issue significance to this i just bought it because first of all it's cheap and you got the dark side cover it just looks like a very cool cover you know and i i, I think the artist george perez that's my guess i think i'm right continue on more 50 cents goodness we got silent hill past life again video game uh especially horror video game based comics Definitely pick it up. And I did clean it up real nice though, see? So we got Past Life uh, 1 and 2. And then we have Silent Hill Sinner's Reward number 2. Although that one has a, quite a bit of spine ticks. What do you call them? Spine marks? Spine, spine ticks? Okay, some more 50 cents goodness. You guys are probably wondering, who the hell cares about Marvel Age? Oh, why I do. Because we don't care about Squadron Supreme. This is actually features the first preview of Cable and Strife before the first cameo or what we call it, or first appearance. This is called the first preview. Let's see if we can find the first preview of Cable. What page is it? Oh, got Clyde Bar oh there it is. That's how Cable looked like back then. See, from the Mutant Report, his name would be Cable. Or Cybrid from Rob Liefeld. Wow. There's your first look. Let's look for these clearance comics. Come on, Hulk. Sun Hill. Sun Hill. Preview of Cable. First parents of Groot and Wander. I thought I would never find this, especially in the 50 cents. And yes, I cleaned up real good. You don't even see any residue because I'm an expert cleaner now. You guys wondering how to do that? Make sure you just search in my YouTube channel how to remove price stickers. All right, we got Destroyer Duck. Yes, it's his first appearance, but that's not what we care about. This also features the first appearance of uh, Gru the Wanderer. That's the reason why I bought it. Can you believe it? Even if it was cover price, I would have paid for that. So that was a great find. That's going in my private collection too. We got Contest of Champions number one. Look carefully who are the characters. Oh, Venom and... Gamora or whatever. Now look carefully because it features a first appearance and cover appearance of White Fox. Where can I find White Fox? Right there looking like Storm right here with a W. Okay. All right, Moon Knight. How many of you guys watched the Moon Knight series? It's okay. I find it a little bit weird. Um, I don't. I guess I don't really dig the personal dual personality thing. I find it kind of a little bit corny. But anyway, we got Moon Knight 188. This features the first appearance of Sun King. I don't. Did, did Sun King make appearance in the in the show? I don't think he did. 
I, I don't know, man. I guess I don't really care. <laughs> All right, next up we got Spider-Man 2. First of all, regular Spider-Man and Miles Morales. But who is the other Miles? So this features the first appearance of Miles Morales from Earth 616. Another different dimension or multiverse, whatever you call it. Getting tired of multiverse. And these are half off cover. I just grabbed this because of First of all, Boba Fett, Star Wars Empire, a bounty hunter's choice, a brother's fake sacrifice. It's always good to grab these. Um, and I think it's newsstand edition too, because it doesn't say direct. Okay. Star Wars Empire number 16. That is the first appearance of Janek Sunbur. I think a Jedi Master. You guys remember in um, was that Infinity War or or um, Endgame when um, Captain America wielded Mjolnir? That happens in this. That's why I paid two dollars for this. I couldn't believe my eyes when a worker was putting out comics to be in the put in the shelf. I said, let me take a look. Had I not done that and waited instead, or came back the other day, all of these would be gone. First of all, these are super hard to find. Star Wars Jedi. These are one shots. Jedi Aya Sakura. I don't know that much about her, but she looks like a Jedi apprentice or master. Okay. Be so. First of all, the cover price is expensive, five dollar, considering it's in the early nineties or whatever, mid nineties. And uh, so I paid half off cover. Look at this. Jedi Count. Doku. Okay. Things are warming up. Be patient. Be patient. Jedi Shock T. I don't know that much about her. But they look like they're from the same or similar species, I guess. With the hanging horns. What do you, I don't even know what the species is called. But anyway. Now check this out. Jedi Yoda, Star Wars Jedi, a world's fate rests in the smallest hands. Now that one can go for, so this is one shot takes place during the Clone Wars. That one is going, can go for like 40 or 50 dollars on eBay. Are you guys ready for the final and last one? Zoom, zoom, who is that? Oh my goodness, it's Snakes on the Plane. It's Samuel L. Jackson. First appearance of him in the comic? No. Jedi Mace Windu, Star Wars Jedi. Ignore this cover price. I think they sold it. This used to be in a comic book store or something. So this is the first appearance of Ashaj Ventress and Sion Gizel. So this is the value of this is like three hundred dollars and more if it's graded. Only 19,687 copies. You know what? I think I used to have this, but it had a price sticker on there. And that was before when the Star Wars craze was happening again. And I gave it away in one of my monthly comic book giveaways. I always regretted it. But as luck would have it, 
I finally have it again. So it just search carefully, guys. Eventually, you will find the comics that you guys have lost or just uh, mistakenly gave away. So I hope you guys enjoyed this comic book haul. I surely did. This is definitely going into brand new bag and board and then in the top loader. As always, happy collecting and hunting.